guys do you already like what you see right here i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to do a new album with a kit so stay tuned and perhaps you're gonna like it okay guys i am gonna see what i'm gonna make with all these yummies i have the amphirias the yeah i call this set the card set i do have I have four buttons, I have some templates, I I don't know if I'm going to use these, but I already ordered a search for some pearl grey, blank papers and some brown craft stock, just perhaps for some strips or backgrounds, That's, it's, it's a backup, because I do have a lot of, I printed out some nice ladies, and I have the A4, Paper set, it's from Sweet Secrets, Lemoncraft, love that brand, so many nice papers. So this is a nice brown solid one. And then we have the, um, this is actually the design paper set. Um, it's it's an, old, an old collection, so um, they did not have the covers with it. Uh, some, some they have, some they don't have. So, but these are the six ones. Love these very summer summer tints with the pink and the brown. I think it's a lovely set. Lots of pink, lots of brown. And then this is the last one. So, so it's 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 not much images. So that is why I choose um, for some vintage lady to add on. So I think that's perfect. And then we have the basic paper pad. I uh, love stripes and dots, you know that. So lots and lots of papers to work with. The planning is uh, what I have already in my mind. Um, so I have the chipboard. I don't know if I use all three, but I just had them and just grabbed them. So I'm just going to start and you will see the end results. All right. Okay, first thing I did is cut out all these beautiful images. So cute, so darn cute. All right, so I left the white uh, edge on, I like it. All right, so that is that. So first of all, I like to show you one thing. <laughs> okay. All right, as I told you, um, doing this virus period um, at night. I am downstairs, not crafting. Um, so I had a little playtime with the papers already, and these are just a few tryouts. But I really like them. I do like them, but I like to change something because uh, I'm gonna tell you. Um, in, in, if I make a kit, it's for me very difficult to make closures for a page, such as this one. This is easy, easy to make. But um, I do love to make uh, the string uh, closure. I do like this uh, method. But yeah, using magnets is hard for me because they are very expensive. So I don't want to add a hundred magnets in a kit. So that is for me not possible. So I'm going to try, I always try to use closures for a page. And so we can do them all. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna try make this kind of um, method in, in a page more. Well, not using this, I think. But yeah, that is pretty good for a closure. Um, so this is just a method and love this page. Definitely gonna use it. Um, so that is one page I did. I didn't do not know if I want to. But let's see that this is a magnet. And I want to solve this. I do like this. I do like swing tabs. But I need something else. I need something else to make it more doable. Easy. More easy. I do like the swing tabs though. But this is not. I have to solve this with something. Um, here we have also a ribbon closure. That's perfect. Perfect for this page. You can open these up very easily. And this opens up. So that is perfect. A perfect closure. Very easy and very effective to do a ribbon closure. Alright. And 
the last page yeah also we have some um, flippable subjects with sewing tabs and um, then we have this one but this one needs a closure too otherwise it will flip everywhere and then this opens up like this um, so it, it's not perfect just yet oh and then this flips to the left and to the right I think yep so we need a lot of papers and um, I'm just gonna yeah these are just four 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 uh, samples but that you get a little picture of what I'm gonna do with you guys all right stay tuned <laughs> Okay, let us first make some tunnels because we do love to make a nice insert for adding more photos in in an album. So let's make some tunnels. So the first thing, I'm going to grab two pieces of my A4 and I always going to check with you what size my A4 is. But we're going to cut these so that's so totally fine. So mine A4 is 21 by 29 and a half centimeters. I live in Europe, so your A4 perhaps out of Europe is different. Uh, different, so that is um, that's why I'm just give you the information. And an inches is 814 by 11 5 of an 8 inch. I use Clairefontaine black 160 grams. The grams will be different in another country, I believe. But this is what I use. Um, so I'm going to cut my two pages. We need two pages for one tunnel. And I'm gonna cut this at nine and a half. Then I'm gonna make two hinges. Yeah, I have a Martha Stewart. <laughs> My mom does not use it, so she gave it to me. Thank you, mom. And I'm gonna try it out if I like it. Um, so if we make the tunnel, Yep, I believe, yep, we need, we need to make on each side a half inch. I know right away what I want to do. I know right away that I like a mark on my half inch. And at one inch, I do love the marks. Because I work upside down. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so I scored half inch on each page. Here we go. Let's fold it. And now we're gonna make the tunnel. So yeah, this is perhaps why it's needed that you cut your paper, same as mine. But I will give you the measurement when the tunnel is ready, so you don't have to exactly do that. Alright, so are we going to attach these two hinges? So, one inch on each side. So I'm just going to apply this to the left so it's nice and even. And then I do the other one. I don't know exactly how many pages I'm going to do, but at least a few. So I'm going to make a few so the next time I'm right away ready. So this is how my tunnel looks like. This is the base. The base tunnel. And that is a totally of... Alright, so this is of course nine and a half. And this is seven three fourth. Seven three fourth inch. In centimeters, that is 24 by, boy, 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 19.6, 19.6 centimeters. So this is the measurement I use for my tunnel. All right, I'm going to make a few. 
I don't know how many, perhaps two or three. Let's first do two. I don't know. Let's check that out. All right, so let's begin. Let's begin. Let, let, let's do some crazy stuff. <laughs> So what we are going to do, we're going to do this page uh, that was a tryout. It's going to be looking different because I do, I explained earlier, I'm going to do something different with the closure. Um, so we start, we start, we just start. <laughs> okay. First of all, I like having an edge on the side. So it's not that bulky for the hinges. So the first thing we decide, what shall we do? I think... We're gonna make it clear, a nice clear one at the side. What do you think if we are gonna use that brown solid that I've got? Now this is pretty thin, but it's perfect for some backgrounds, for some lines, for some strips. So I do like this. Now there is a little line on here, and I definitely want to use that line. So I could use this one but I like to use the line so I'm gonna cut two pieces at a half inch this is a half inch and another one that is my start for the day easy peasy all right so let's cut this same Here we go, and let's glue it on. One here. Perfect, I like it already. And one on the other side, of course. You don't have to throw the leftovers away, you can still use them. Maybe on a tag or a card or anything. Just save them. You always can or get rid of your leftovers when you are completely done. But before you are done, just save it all. Just use a little basket where you can put everything in. I do love using these little baskets. And these are actually, um, there were eyes in it. Uh, my mother-in-law had these for a very long time and each time she saved these for me. I love these little baskets. All right, so that is the base. Can't make it any easier than that. All right, next step. Before we go continuing everything else, we're gonna make a closure already. Yes, because I did tell you that this closure is not working for me and I still like to use the images. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the same thing as, well, you will see that in just a sec. You will see what I mean, all right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use these two images. And I don't know if you already have some leftover pieces, but I always have leftover pieces. So I'm going to see which one fits my, my length for this image. Always add right away your other pieces with it. You don't have to do this. This is just a tick of mine. Love that. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that this is out of the way. So this fits on here. All right, so that's perfect. I want it to be a little more fittable. So I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to cut right away two pieces. your kit you will see that I have some templates and we have a bigger one and one that fits on top here for design paper and you have a small one and even I always like to mark the one that's bigger so 
so I don't make mistakes. Well, perhaps I even can write on. <laughs> My memory always does not work that perfectly. So yeah, I need to write something down. All right, so now I'm gonna use the bigger one. And it's, it's black on black, I know. Don't panic, don't panic. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this in the middle. this is in the middle and I'm gonna draw a line where this is added. You can cut right away too if you like that. If you are comfortable with that. Now of course this is bigger so I am just going to cut this in an angle like that. Then I'm going to follow the lines. Keep following the lines. If you do this, just take your time for it. And then on the end, I go straight again. To make that line, you can use your um, cutter or your um, corner punch and make the corner nicely. See, that is how we extend this piece right here. Yep, cool. All right, so, okay, you can erase this if you like. That's that. All right. That's the first step we do. Now I'm going to add this. And I think I first going to make sure that I search a nice um, piece for uh, decoration. And then see how far. But I want this to be as close as I can. Short as can. So... I'm just going to see how it looks with design paper. So let's search for a nice piece of design paper. First of all, I'm going to use the stripes. Yeah, Adobe, you're going to use the stripes. You don't, you, you don't have to cut all the way, but I'm going to cut one inch of my first sheet so I can easily use them to cut out this piece right here. Alright, so I'm going to use now what I just cut out and just hold it and follow the lines. That's one. Cut it out nicely on your pencil mark. Actually, we need two. Oh, totally forgot that then I need to cut out two. Oh, well, it's okay. We have all the time of the world. I do like to use my Distress Ink Vintage Photo. It's an oldie, but it still works. So I'm going to distress the edges. And I'm going to glue it down. You can choose your pink or your brown. But for now I'm going to choose the brown. Alright, then just move it a little lower. And there you have it. Nice edge. That's done. Alright, um, yeah, of course we need another one to do the back. Absolutely. Um... Yeah, I could have done this better. I'm going to show you how I should have done it. Not think of that earlier. 
But if I move this now, and I'm going to use another one, see how that saves a lot of paper. See, so I'm going to do this one. On here. And then, if I do it correctly, I can do one more. See? And that out of one inch strip. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut this out. And then I'll be back to you. Next step, I just like a little piece right under. Gives it just a little more. You know me, I like my strips. And I just do. Can't get another one. I don't think that I have enough for one, but let's see. Let's check it out. Okay. The other one, Ooh. the other one on the other side, of course. Nicely on the edges. Yes, that's correct. Now, <laughs> do one more, and then we can measure the rest. This one I used, um, yeah, are these stars? I don't know if these are stars, but I used that one. Okie dokie. Let's cut one more piece. Put your leftovers in that basket. Glue these on. And then... And yes, it takes time, but it's okay. We have all the time of the world. Crafting is the meaning of relaxing time. All right. That's that. Now I can see how far this needs to go. So I'm making a mark at the end. Same as on the other one. Just leaving a nice black edge all the way around and making a mark. That mark is to set a um, fold line. And we are not going to make just one fold line because this is go. Oops, this is going to be thicker, of course, because the page is thicker. As you can see, there are much layers. So we need, and I bet we are, especially if you are adding after you are done photos, you definitely need a, what shall we say, um, a 1.8? Yes, I think we need that. So I'm going to make a 1.8. to cut these down you don't have to the longer the better all right that's cool check it out it still fits it should be yeah cool now i'm gonna do that on the other side too on the mark and that one eight extra fold it And fold the other one. Now this one is a bit longer, so I'm gonna cut this 
a little softer. Yes, all right, that's done. All right. You can add the photo on it if you like. But you also can do that on a later stage. But we always like to do that. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to add it on the page, the back. I will see what we're going to do. There we go. The other one. All right, so we have a left one. This points to the white actually, and this goes to this way. So don't glue your picture the wrong side, of course. So be aware of that. All right, glue it on. There we go. Yes, now I'm gonna grab some eyelets and let's punch a hole. That's one and that's two. Let's go up. My crocodile. I hope you all have something like this. If you don't have these, this one, you don't have to buy, of course, the same one. That's totally up to you. But I know you have cheap ones and expensive ones. But the cheap ones is perfectly fine, of course, too. Just use what you have. I think I do not use the correct one. Alright, let's put this in here. Hmm. I think what I just had was better. Alright, so let's see which one I had. This one, I think. Yep. Alright, so, yep, that's that. So let's add this on the page. On the page. Where is the page? Here is the page. So there's one on the left and one on the right. So this is short. It is short. Yes, Diane, it's short. You should have perhaps not used that, but that's okay. It's still wide enough. Mm. Yep, it is. All right, so I'm gonna eyeball this in the middle. It does not have to be that perfect. I'm gonna put this as close as I can to this edge right here. Bounce it down. And that is the closure. Same thing on here. the base all right so yeah of course we need to find a nice thing on the back but I always leave some things for last all right guys up to the next next <laughs> okay next we are gonna make a big left and right page so first we need to make the same height as the base I believe that was nine and a half, but I always trust my <laughs> my marks. I'm gonna cut right away two, so I have exactly the same pages. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a um, fold line, half inch. Half 
inch. Fold it. Balance it down. Which one will we do make first the left one and that fits completely from in between those brown lines. Okay. and square brush your glue yep that's one now the other one comes of course on this side but I like to stay away at least two millimeters away from that fold line before I cut it and then I'm gonna add it Two nice big pages where we can add loads of photos on. That's the meaning of all this. Just straight between the lines and brush it down. Cool. All right. See, one left. Keep it straight. Yep, it is. It's nice. Alright. Still have plenty to do on here. Next step. <laughs> okay, guys. First, I'm going to make half inch strip on top of this page. So whatever you're going to glue on top of this one. It's not interfering anything. If you do a flippity flop on top, well, sometimes it will get in the way. And if you make a nice strip, it definitely gives a fun effect. And it's better. Yep. Save your piece. Yes! Next, what we do is grab your page and cut this. Oh, is this the same size? Oh my gosh, it is. Do need glasses? Nope, it's the same size. Perfectly. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is uh, we do like that little piece on the bottom. And I'm going to do, I'm going to use this piece for that. Now. How I'm going to reinstruct that. Well, I can make a full piece. Let me use a full piece. Oh, that needs... Oh, wait. I do have... I do have... I do have... I do have one set. Here we go. Perfect. So you will find these. And you can cut this. Let's do a line. And let's cut a few out of these. Well, first one, of course, but I think we need more. I don't know. Keep it nice, steady. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to cut this out. And then I'll be back to you. Hmm, let's check it out. Check it out. I'm just going to cut this in half, I think. Hmm, well, I 
did notice that, yeah, I'm just going to cut this in half. So we have a larger piece. So I still have my original template. Save it. Save it, save it, save it. All right. Uh, with which one do we like this? Um, uh, well, I do have used this one. I think I like to let that come back. So how much do we need? We only need till this little point right here. So it's... Till here it's needed. So that is what I'm going to cut out. Yes, and we go it again. Let's just take your time for it. I'm just going to put this on the bottom. Nice and straight. Well, I even can make this to the top. I think that's even better to use it all. Here we go. And then again, you can flip this over to save papers. I don't know if you can use another one out of this I don't think so but at least you always can use this piece for another uh, shape like that so that's totally up to you yes all right guys I'm gonna cut this out again Okay, when you are done, just check if it's cool. And it is. Then do some switching, make it nicer. Okay, let's glue it on. back right away mm, yeah I think we do but first 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 we are going to attach because this was the complete side of that so what I'm gonna do um do we need to wound this up Gonna check if I did that. I did not, but it's possible. I like that. I'm gonna round the corners. Now search for the middle, and I'm gonna use the point to point where I want to add it. Yep. So that is what I'm gonna do. So you're gonna get your glue from point to point. And glue it on from point to point. Is this the middle? I think it is. I think it is. All right, now I can go to the back and glue down the other piece on a little more, of course. Love it. See? And then we can make a little strip out of this, whatever color you like. Um, I think I'm going to use the brown one again. Let's bring back the brown one. One inch, no, half inches, I think, enough. Or 
Um, nope, wait, wait for that, wait for that, wait for that. I need to check, 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 check. No, we need a pocket out of this. Oh yeah, the back, the back we did. But we can do that later. Wait for that. Now, first of all, line this up. So this, you don't want to overlap this. Of course not. Put the closures open. Line this up. I definitely want, I don't want to overlap this. So I stay away a few millimeters away. Yes? No. Okay. Stay away a little few millimeters. Then we have this pink edge right here. So I'm going to stay a few millimeters away from this edge. And then I'm going to make a mark where the pink one begins all right let's make a flippity flop first if you are still perfectly yes i am um, glue it on guys glue it on nicely underneath that pink piece keep this one nice straight magic Cool. All right, see that matches perfectly. All right, now next step. Next, next, next. Burnish this down. Don't forget to burnish all your glue. Next, <laughs> next. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make those two flaps go left and right. Um, so we're gonna attach, well first make a mark, the same length as this page right here, okay. Actually I do like my, I, I do miss my, my small one, this is pretty big but it's okay. It does the job so it's good. I only, because I use this upside down, I can't go to the bottom. But I know myself, if I do this the right way, I know myself I get ugly for the hinges. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it. Yes, I am. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try the correct way. <laughs> Let's burnish this down, fold the fold line, alright, okay, first things first, we need to measure the middle of this page, and the middle of this page is here, now line it up to the left and make a mark. Cut it, cut it down on that mark. Now we have a round piece right here, so I need a round piece right there. Don't forget. Should have used my chopper, but this works perfectly fine with me. Two, perfect fit, glue it on. on the correct spot nicely attached with this curved corner brush it down there we go next line it up on the page and make that mark where the other one ends of course 
All right, cut it out. And cut the corner. Check it out. Check, check, check. Check it out. Check it out. Perfect. And it's better to leave a millimeter or so open in the middle than that it's going to be bump in each other. So I'm just going to line this up and I do have a little spot open in between. Just how I like it. Yes. Alright, now we go to this spot, making a pocket and we have loads of leftover pieces. So I'm just going to use my leftover piece, which I cut down for this one. So, and it's deep enough. I like it. So again, uh, crap. See what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm still not used to the left spot. Alright, stay away one or two millimeters away from the fold lines. Otherwise, this will bump in your pocket and you don't want that. You don't want that at all. Here we go. That's for the pocket. Let's make just a simple straight pocket. Nothing fancy or anything. Because we have enough shit. Oh, I for totally forgot. Gone. Totally forgot that we have around corners. Totally forgot. Will definitely be not the last time that I forget that. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's add it on. Nicely in between. Yep. Here we are. Here we are. Pocket is born. Yes. Cool. Next. Okay, next what we're going to do, we're going to make a few flaps on these flaps. So, um, let's check it out. Well, actually this one does fit. And I think I can make two of these. So I'm going to split this in half. Let's make a mark. And then, yep, it will fit. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that because I need a hinge too. So <laughs> I'm just going to make another one so I can make a hinge. There we go. Go out. Make a hinge. I definitely need to grab my little one. That's way better for these small pieces. Um, yeah, I don't forget making this on the side too. So we build it up. This is going to be downwards. So I'm going to mess this, not mess this up. I'm going to stay two millimeters away from the top line. And then I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to glue it up. So we have a little extra page that flips down. Here we are. Check. 
chick chick cool let's do that again again I'm gonna grab my leftover pieces nope it's too small all right then I need to dig in my new papers Make a mark, get set. <laughs> yeah, we almost to the fun part. And the fun part is doing the decoration, of course. That is the fun part for me, anyway. Check the length. Cut the same way as this guy right here so I'm just gonna stay away from that edge same thing and cut it and we need to cut this piece yes there we go Blue it down. Actually, a making a page is not that difficult. It's just up and up and up and going and going and going and going. It's just sometimes you need to think further. You need to know where you want to start, how you uh, want to make a closure for the complete page. So that is why I, well, yeah, I do like making tryouts and make it nice so actually I could have made this a uh, swing button closure always that was also a good idea but I didn't do that next time um yeah so this flips open with a pocket and this flips down and I think actually we can do one more that go up because this one I made a flap out of it but now we have right here the flap so that's not needed so what do you say if I make a flap that definitely needs to go deeper than this hmm, could have done could be nice too if I make a flap then it needs to go here and then you will see that curve right here. Mm. Yeah, do we like that? Actually, I do like that because if you open it up, and you open this up and you open this down. Hmm. Let's do it, guys. Let's do that. Check always your leftover pieces first. Param, param, pom pom. Param, pom pom. Why does that this, this, this should be fitting. This one is. Ah. It does, it does, it does, it does. Alright, so again, cut this at the exact same spot. And then do, of course, the other one too. So we have one and we have almost two pieces. Now we want that curve to come back. Of course, we want that curve to come back. Now, how deep do we like this? Well, it definitely needs, you can make it wherever you want, but you're just going to check where you like it. Um, let's grab something so you can see better. So let's say we have added some design paper on here. See, that's coming till here. So where do you want this? Um, where do you like to see this?
Yeah, guys, it's a definitely a follow-along video. So, what, where, where do you would like to see this? I think... I don't like this, but definitely from here. I do like that. I do. I do, I do, I do. So that is how I make my mark where I want to add a new fold line. And these are absolutely the same. So let's see if I can double this up. <laughs> it's one, two. Here we go. Open this up, open this down, and glue it on. Oh, yeah, you can leave this long flap, you don't have to exactly. Cut it shorter, that's not necessary. Alright. Glue it down, guys. Glue it down on the right spot. Nicely straight. Check it out, check it out, if you are straight. And then, for the last piece, I like pockets. These are too small. I like pockets, 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 pockets. I need two same ones. Are these the same? Yeah. Oh. Alright, let's make two pockets. Need a little higher. So, again, we know how we make pockets, aren't we? Yes, we are knowing that. Again, don't forget the corners if you did use the same corners as I did. Yes, one on the left and one on the right. Check, check, check it out. Check it where you are. Bubble, 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 bubble. Do, 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 do. The bottom. Okay, guys, what do we have? What do we have? Mm. 
is this a crazy page or what? <laughs> it's still not done. It's not done. One more thing. But so far, so good. So this will look. This is the closure. Then you'll see a flip up and a flip down and a pocket. All right. Then this flips open. Then we have a pocket. Then this flips up. Lots of space for photos. Then this flips to the left and this flips to the right. And yes, we need to make a pocket. I don't have a large um, leftover piece. So how deep do you want this? Three inch? Yeah, let's make a three inch pocket. Last pocket, I promise. I promise you that this is going to be the last one. And then we finally, finally can go to decorating. Keep away a little from that fold line. Make another fold line. Here we are. Put some glue on. Here we are. Nicely on the bottom. Totally at the bottom piece. And burn it down your glue. Here we are. Right, pockets. Left page. Another page. All the other pages. Oh, wow. I like it. Good lord. This is a nice thick page. So I'm glad we did that uh, one eight extra. Gusset. Cool. All right, guys. <laughs> I hope you understand everything what I did. I hope you stay with me when I'm doing the decoration because that takes a long time too. More even. Um, so yeah. Still having fun? Alright. See you decorating. Okay, so far so good. I don't know if I'm going to keep using these little strings. I don't know yet. It's just a simple cotton string. I even have these in black. Um, I don't know yet, but for now I do like this color, so I will see how or what, but let us do first some nice things. First, I am gonna, because I saw that paper, this paper I mean, and I think it's gorgeous to use this little piece right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off. Then I'm going to cut this off. And then I'm going to use it. You also can save this for perhaps the cover. Hmm. That is also nice, of course, to use. Oh, we have a lot of ribbon to use. So I think I'm going to still use this for this pocket. Alright, now you can make this a little higher, but let me first check if this still fits in here. And... Ooh, I don't know. Let's check it out. I just want to use it. I just want it, want it, want it, want it. Use it. All right, let's cut it. You always can check a nice strip above. 
Um, what do we want? Do we want a pink one? Well, let's do a pink one. Cutting a strip. Cut this to complete length. Yes, and now I'm going to use this one. Not much what's in the pocket, but just enough to overlay the two hinges on the side. With like a black edge on the bottom too. See, nice pockets. Now, let's check it out. How do we want this? Yeah, I think this fits perfectly. What a strange noise it outside. Looks like a big air balloon or something like that. Well, it's beautiful weather outside. It is. It's, I believe, 22 or 23 degrees outside. It's not degrees, it's, it's Celsius. Why I glued down? Oh, well, I'm just gonna. This is enough. I put <laughs> glue on the back too, but that's why I did not put it too close to the edges. Here we go. Yep, cool. Alright, so I will love this one. Can we use this one on the bottom? Do you like this one on the bottom? Nope, I don't. I don't like that at the bottom. I want more a solid piece. Um, shall we use the same one? Why not, actually? Why not? Let's do that. Okay, cut this piece first. And can you imagine, uh, like I just told you, what a beautiful weather it's, it's outside. Can you imagine that people need to say, stay in house? Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I am not living in a big, big um, I call that, flat or anything oh my goodness i am so sorry if you live in a flat um yeah i do i do feel sorry but yeah it's just what it is of course um but and i'm not want to break i don't but i'm very happy that i still have a garden and where i can go out sitting i'm not much outside i do i am not much outside but i'm glad that i can Especially now. <laughs> I am. Alright, what do you think about this? I like it. Yes, cool. Um, for the inside, I think it will be nice for having photo mats. So, but I would like to use that later. So I'm going to skip that part for now. The inside of this one. So let's see, what can we do on here? Let's see, I'm gonna cut this one in the correct size. 
then I'm going to cut one inch to put nicely here. Yes. Then I'm going to grab that brown one. I'm just going to cut a tiny, well, yeah, I'm just going to cut a tiny bit. Oh, well, let's give it a half inch. Well, let's give it a half inch. Now, if you like tuck spots, then you can glue, and I like that, you can glue three sides of this little piece and then leave the one that you did not glue down open for the left. So if you are going to add later photos in here, then you have a nice tuck spot for it. Then I'm going to add another strip. See, so we have a nice tuck spot right here. Always nice to add a photo. And then I'm going to see a nice brown one. I'm just going to start at the back. What do you say? This one? Oh, I definitely like this one. So let's cut the complete page. And then till here. Let's cut it. Here it is. Perfect. Like it. These little pieces, I always like to use that for the last because then you know when you have little pieces left where you can use it for. So I'm not going to cut the complete sheet to cover that small area up. I'm just going to wait till last. So we are always busy at our pages. Yay! See? So that's a nice way. And you still can add a nice picture or put a picture in here and a little note right here. I like it. Cool. Yes, 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 yes. I was thinking of something that I left behind. I know there is a sheet, an A4 sheet with tags with this collection. Hmm, okay, I need to grab it. Um, yeah, like I said, I will keep this for a later stage, not for now. Let's see, let's continuing first here. The bigger ones, the bigger parts. Right, let's check it out. I'm going to use this piece, a full one, for at the bottom. Okay. Here we go. Photos. Here we go. 
Oh wow, big sheet. Look how cool that looks. And even if this is down, see how nice. Love it. Love it. Burnish your glue down so it stays forever. Alright, so now we go to the top. We go to the top. But I'm going to flip this over so I can easily come to this. And um, I want to use a strip. And I think I'm just going back with the brown one. Just because it can. Because it's possible. I just love this brown coming back for little strips. Okay. There we go. There was something in it. Yippee dee! Now this is too thin that I'm not gonna that I'm not gonna switch it. It's okay. spots right here but we have this one but we want to keep it oh always check if you have something that you can use oh this one is nice for two oh wow wait just a sec I'm gonna split this one in two. That's nice. That is nice. So that is for this piece and then that's too small. Yep, I'm gonna make a patchwork pack. Let's do crazy. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now I'm going to use this piece, I just think, I think that I'm going to use it. And for the tuck spot people, just glue three pieces, three sides, and keep one spot open. So you always can add something in it if you want, a little tag or something. Alright, now we still can use this piece. <laughs> we can. Very, very tiny spots we need to cut off. This is a little off, and this is 
let's see if it still fits. Oh, a little short of candy. Check, check, check it out. Dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Spot right here too. Cool. Yep, lots of space. Cool. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Hmm. All right. So let's see. The flaps. Definitely, we need to start with some brown. So I'm gonna cut this piece. And I remembered that we have this one. Ah, ha, 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 ha. So we can flip this over. We can flip this over and use it. Let's see. Let's go right here. <laughs> All right. Um, Shall we do this or a little bit lower? Mm. Alright, let's check it out. Okay, my very old children are downstairs and having not a good time. <laughs> oh my goodness. They act like little children. Can you imagine they are 20 and 18 years old? But of course, they act like the little children. Alright, so if you hear something, murder uh, each other, they are murdering each other on the background. <laughs> this morning, that reminds me something, this morning she was online uh, for the school. And at some point, I did a lot of, a lot of uh, cuddling with my dog. And apparently, it was very noisy, she, she said to me. And um, she even came to the... Uh, living room and shh, mom, the teacher is gonna hear you. And, oh, okay. Well, can you imagine how many times you are on the background on my videos <laughs> when you two are having arguments or anything like that? So, yay, that's life. That's okay. That is perfectly fine. That is just how it is, especially when they are now all at home, then we just have to deal with each other. Normally my son is working all day, but sometimes he's getting early home. And um, yeah, so we're all at home. Well, not my husband, but... It's not my husband, but my hobby. It's not my hobby. It's my partner then. Blah, 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 blah. Yada, 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 yada. <laughs> All right. Which one do I like for the bottom right here? Mm. Do you like pink? I think I do like pink. Let's check it out. Hmm, not this one. Alright, so let's see, let's see, oh, perhaps we can use this one, why not, can I use this piece and then two ones, I think we can, so I'm going to cut a one, let's check it out, check it out, check it out. Can we cut two? I think we can. This is one piece. Don't forget the corner pieces. Don't forget to smooch the edges. Oh, 
today is actually such a fun day. Oh my gosh, I just called my friend uh, to tell her the news. Well, it's not actually news, but for me it is. It is, it is, it is, it is. It is. For me it's news, 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 big news, big news, big news. Um, You know, you know when I do these kits, yeah, uh, I do that now, not that very long, but I'm getting in it. And, um, yeah, I love using good brands. Oh, gosh, keep it quiet. <laughs> you know. Hey! Oh, stupid, stupid kids. <laughs> anyway. You know I like to use good brands, and I do use already very, very good brands. Um, but I thought, well, I can add a few more, but let's see where I can order. And, and so I emailed a few, and yeah, normally when I do need a lot, then there is a possibility that I get a little discount. A little, just a little. And um, so yeah, so I was mailing this morning a few brands and I got some answers and I'm so happy. <laughs> yes, I am. So um, I got new good news today. So yeah, and I'm not going to tell you which brand it is. Nope, 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 nope. You will see that eventually. But let's continue in first. Yes, I like this. I like how this turns out. So let's see, what can we do on the bottom? Let's check it out. Okay, let's see for the bottom piece right here. I'm gonna use this piece. Love it. And if I cut it this way, then I can use one piece. That's good. Check it out where your last piece is. God, I know I am not fair to you guys to give you a little <laughs> information where you have nothing. You have absolutely nothing for it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Just need to check them out and see what I have and what I can order or what I can't order. Actually, it's a shame sometimes because. Um, sometimes I do like the old collection so much, but then, yeah, it's an old collection, so I can't order for the kits because they don't have that much stash left, but, oh, gosh, I wish I could. And sometimes it's hard to pick out something for a kit because, yeah, I never know what people like. I just choose what I like, <laughs> what I like to work with, so... Yeah, I'm just hoping that you guys like it too. So that's always, yeah, a little... A little guessing. If I'm doing it right, do I do something wrong? But I know one thing. If I'm making a kit, then you can trust me. I love to work with that paper. I'm not going to buy any papers for my kits which I don't love myself. So I am just staying very close to myself with my favorite things that I like to use. Otherwise it's not working for me. It's definitely not. Sometimes people suggest me some um, some papers, but it's not me. Then I just like, don't want to work, work, work with it. That's, that's no, it has to be a little me. Me, 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 me. Otherwise, I don't like working with them. I'm so sorry. Now, especially for the back of this one, we'll keep it. Keep it, keep it, keep it plain because I also have... I also have this pearl gray one and I think it matches perfect. So we still can use that occasionally. Oh, this looks perfect. It's perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this for the back. I'm 
There is even a little, well, a little shine on. Not much, but just a little tiny one. Perhaps that's why it's called pearl grey, I don't know. But it's also from Claire Fontaine, by the way. Well, no, there is not any shimmer on it. I thought it would be, but it's not. You don't have to put something on the back here, of course. You also can leave it for a photo, but I don't like black spots. So I want to add. I want to add paper looks on it. Here we go, here we go, having some fun, having some fun, yes we are, we are having some fun, 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 it's that corner. That corner is right there, here we go. That is nice, nice, nice. Cool. I love the color. Not white, not cream color. Pearl gray. Ooh, cool. Yes, love it, love it. Now, let's do the pockets. So let's do the pockets. Mm, love it. Love it, so use it. Oh, so hard to see. Let's put something in here so I can see better. Make a mark. Cut the papers. Anyway, what are you doing all today? What are you all up to? Are you still in quarantine? This time I have no idea when this video is going to be online. I have no clue guys. I really don't. Um, could be in about a few weeks or I have no clue I know it's always guessing it's always guessing especially when there are two custom made albums in between in um, online yeah. no it has to be online in I don't know when so yeah that's always tricks sometimes I have to wait for a very very long time so I have absolutely no clue I hope I can put this online after my design team project is ready on YouTube. I have no clue. I don't know how fast this goes. Sometimes the project goes fast, sometimes it does not. Sometimes we have family issues, so yeah, sometimes we can't craft for days. Maybe I get ill. Hopefully, hopefully not, but you never know. You never know. Never you know. That's for sure. No, that's not fitting. So, let's see. I think I'm going to turn this page around to do these flaps. Let's do the flaps. Flippity floppity flaps. do I have left with this one? What's on the back? Oh, I can use the back. I can use the back. But I don't want to cover the flowers. That's not nice. That's not nice. Um, especially because we only have six pages. Do we have six pages? Yeah, I do believe we have six pages with that design paper. So we don't want to to use that. We can use this one. That is nice. Why not? Let's use it. 
I like to keep coming back first the same patterns. That's 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 it. Yeah, I love that. Could have liked to see me all this doing. <laughs> I know some people of you do that, so I'm just keep my camera rolling, 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 just, and I'm just keep prowling. I'm just prowling. Did you know we have a very odd neighbor across the street? We do. It takes him, I think, seven years to build his house, and all right. We are not that much for communication with, with our neighbors. We are not. We are very on ourselves. Um, so he is too. But And I think he loves working in the garden. I think because he's always in the garden. It's a young couple having small children. And um, But, uh, hmm, strange. I thought I hear my mom's voice. Very strange. But anyway, um, well, normally they have, how you call that? So, such as a container uh, on the street each several weeks, a green one for trash of your garden, and a black one for trash on the inside. Um, so normally he always have his green clico on the street, but I noticed a few weeks that he does not. And why I noticed that is because I see him more and more walking with his grass, 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 uh, leftovers. And he's ditching it somewhere. And he's ditching it beside his house. There is a long, um, well, it, it's it's not a, um, it's a ditch. It's a ditch for as we have long veins, then the water can go in there. So it's it's a water supply thing. So if it's 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 a lot of waning, then we have a little watery thing there. So I noticed for a long time now that he ditched his grass in there. And I don't think that is the meaning of the community to have that large ditch right there. Is it a ditch? I have no idea if it's the right word, but you know what I mean. So yeah, so that is why he does not have his green container much out of the street. And last night, Normally we have some issues with the other neighbor of his uh, making fire. So all my house is smelling like, like smoke. And um, I must say the complete winter I do not have much issues with my other neighbor. So he does not smoke that much. But last night I had my window open and we went to bed. And my gosh, all the smell in my bedroom with the, 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 the smell of smoke. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. And I walked right away outside to see if my neighbor is uh, smoking. Well, it's it, when the fireplace on his roof, how you call that? The, yeah, that thing where you see <laughs> the smoke is coming out. But he wasn't. I'm like, hmm, why I did not see that anything? But then I remember that, um, That last week I did saw the other neighbor across the street that he was also having um, I call that fire in his backyard way in the corner and I thought I thought hmm, why does he does that because he never does that he always had his trash for the garden in that green container but now he does not. So yesterday I told my hubby, my Leon, that he, I think that is the other neighbor that does that. So we have now two neighbors who stinks a lot. 
and I hate it, especially when you have all day your window open and you go at sleep at night, then you have to lay down in a smoky bedroom. Oh my gosh. Even in my, if, if, if my dogs are outside and, and I let them in, I, I smell right away if, if my neighbor is having a fire. Hate it, but yeah. That's the downside of living outside, not in a big flat or something. So yeah, <laughs> that's definitely the downside for it. But for the rest, for the rest, it's nice living here. Yep, it is. Well, actually, I have troubles with three neighbors because my other neighbor is that big, that big wooden factory. All right. Am I a nagging person? No, I am not. I'm not having any issue with the neighbors back of my house. Nope. They are also very on their own. Love that family. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. I am no trouble with everything. Nope. No. We all always have some issues, I think, when you are living together. And not even close. <laughs> all right. Okay, so yeah, this is done. I think you like this. I do, at least. And so this we can close down. And it will be flat. If this is closed down. So now we can go to the inside. Oh, it just keep going and keep going and keep going. Yes, and I told you already that the decoration, especially with my bubbling, is taking a long time. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I do have still this little piece right here, and this one is too short. Ah, that's not nice. Um, but actually, I do like this piece right here, so I'm gonna cut this in the right spot. Let's see, what axe can we use? What shall we use? What shall I use? Oh my gosh, and I wish that those nail stylists are pretty back soon that they can work again. Oh my gosh. Well, they are still not looking that bad after my own refill, but still, I like them nice. Doggy. Oh, 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 by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, do you know what came inside today, what I ordered? Do you remember my, um, my, what do you call that? Diamond painting? Yeah, the diamond painting. Do you remember that, that I did that um, unboxing, the diamond painting unboxing video? Do you remember that? that all those little... The little drills and with that uh, elephant image girls it's almost done yes yes especially when at night I'm nothing having to do so yeah I do finish that off you can trust me for that I am gonna finish it up so I ordered the I call that the 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 the, the lists the the frames And I needed to order five, of course. But they came along. They came, they came in today. So, and I am with the last one busy. So I think a few nights and then it's it's done. So it's very, very cool. I'm very excited to put them all in. And then I give you the final review on how it looks when they all are finished. And you can trust me. It took me forever to <laughs> to do that, but when you are in it, and it's not that good for my back, I know, but um, I fixed something with it because I used a, yeah, what's that word? I know the Dutch word for it. That that's a, a wooden frame where you can put something straight to paint. All right, that I have in a table vision. 
and then yeah it fit, yeah <laughs> so I'm not doing this picking thing with the drills and the diamond painting flat on the table nope I have that on that wooden piece so I am straight otherwise my back is killing me otherwise I would not have done it finishing up definitely will not it was terrible for me the first week to do it all right this one I need to check because I don't know if I'm straight so and if I am not then I'm just going to make two marks so I definitely know then that this will fit in between see now it fits perfectly Da, 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 da. I even can move this to this side. Yes, yes, yes. Why can you have found so much satisfaction with just paper? I don't know. I, I have no clue where I get that addiction from. But I am. I'm so, yeah, I don't know. This fits here, this fits there, and here you can cut a little off, and this matches together, and oh my gosh, I just love it. Can't get enough of it. <laughs> I hope you can too. I still have this pearl grey one, so I think it fits perfectly on the back. Let me first cut. You don't have to use the full length to go all the way. You don't have to. Just a little inside is deep enough. There go. Stick this in the pockets on top the hinges and then move it the right spot. Perfect for background. Love it. Yeah. You don't have to use nice papers for the back because you are gonna fill this up with uh, with tags and everything. So see? You don't have to use beautiful papers for the back. Alright so now here of course we're gonna do Indeed, something nice with that. What do you think about a nice frame? Hmm. I think I'm gonna love that. Why not? Um, let's see which one. Shall we do some uh, stripes? I love some stripes. Why not? Let's do something crazy. Shall we do the pink one this time? Why not? Let's do it. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Here we go. That's one. Perfect. Now cut the other one. Measure this one, we have the corner. Okay, let's glue it on. Just having a nice tuck spot. No, it's not a tuck spot, it's all good. I need to talk better, girl. I need to focus, 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 focus. <laughs> Do you know, last weekend we did um, many, 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 many years. I did that too, by the way. Making a list what we are going to eat the complete week and then do the grocery stops because yeah We are just going to having a visit to the grocery store one time a week and 
what I have more leftovers. With that pink one. Nope, I didn't. Too bad. All right, so, um, well, when the kids were little, I did, I did that the entire week. Make a list what we are gonna eat the complete week and then make the groceries one time a week because I worked 10 too. So then, then it's easy not to miss grab your stuff when you are making dinner. Especially when you have little children, that's that's a good idea to do. But we did that last weekend also. And it's not that I go out every day uh, shopping. Nope, normally we go to the shop and decide in the store what we want to eat. But this time we did because we do have a lot, a lot of little things left. And then it's nice. Now, what do we have in the closet? And what can we use? But what do we need more with it? So that is what we did uh, this weekend, <laughs> make a list. So now each morning when I wake up, I normally go to my house and not go to my house. I am already in my house, <laughs> but I um, clean up a bit the house and walk to my house. That's a better word. And then I just walk, watch the list what we eat that night and I, oh yeah I need to pick up that or that out of the freezer or something so but that, that works pretty nice it reminds me of in the old days <laughs> so perhaps I like it that much that I'm gonna do it every week oh my gosh <laughs> what's what you what's what you are saying girl so we'll see we'll see if I can keep it this way but I like it I like it I wonder if more people are doing that but I think I think that that's that's an, an, a more common thing than I will recognize all right what do you say do you love it I love it so it's very easy to keep this plain for those who want to add a nice picture on here. Well, this is too small, definitely. But, um, yeah. Oh, we also have already. No, oh, that's, that's not nice. We also have tags, of course. We also have tags that we can already use to put uh, somewhere. I totally forgot about these. Do not forget, forget about these. Of course, these are too large, but you get the picture. You get the picture. I will keep this for now plain. I don't know just exactly what I want with that. I will keep it for now. So let's see. This is done. Done. This is for later, this is done, and then this is for later, and this is for later. Yay! Cool. Yeah. And this is for later. Well, I do have already a few spots that I can use, but I also like to wait. I also like to wait, 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 wait for it. So this is how it looks so far. And um, what do you think? And then you can close this up. Cool. Yeah. It's not that much different with the tryout. It's not. It's not that much different. I actually really like the brown. It, it, it eases a little down. Yeah. 
cool. Definitely like this, this dark pink in here. Yes, yes, yes. I am very satisfied about it. I hope you liked it too. And I will see you next page. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you don't mind with all my brabbling. I'm so, so sorry. Oh. Alright. Thanks for watching. Till next page. Bye bye.